Hello guys, right, um, well I um, noticed not so many people are watching videos so I thought I would uh, drop off making them but uh, um, that to me is a shame actually because um, you know there is a lot to be gained from what I do I believe so uh, and with uh, cable being such a good um, example of a solid solid trade this morning I thought uh, blow it I'll do it anyway so um, this morning I had a bit of an over uh, not an oversleep but I just des by design because I'm getting so many trades as a result of this RSI histo during the day now uh, with very little screen time actually involved you just uh, come back to the charts look at the RSI histo check this is all right check you've got a reversal somewhere look at the levels um, and uh, I should say at this point it's not you don't really come back to test support on these reversals it's much better to try and find a resistance level below the price that uh, the price might be going to test before it continues up or vice versa a support level that uh, price is coming to test before going down uh, we always use the reversals because that means a support level in a down move has given way but it's more important to check there's no resistance below your price if you're considering taking a down move as a result of a break of support otherwise you will just be trading the test of resistance that you know it could hold as support and continue so always be aware of your support and resistance lines below the price you know for example here this resistance and this resistance if you would consider shorting you need to make sure both of those are closed and then you trade the gap to the next resistance below your price and if you're considering shorting and you're trading straight into that high there be very careful that's why this was so good because this reversal here had closed through all the resistance and the support so in my opinion this had a massive uh, potential drop to go and look what it tested another resistance level and uh, let's see actually whether that held need to uh, double check the, the close 25170 oh, holy cow I didn't even know that I mean that's mad it's held to the pip close 25 so it's not held it's actually given way because it's closed through it and uh, this probably opened below it actually open no 25170 so this is a bearish close still that means that has not held if it had been one micro pip above that then I would consider that to be a uh, um, rejection so that's taking my breath away a little bit actually um, anyway what are we looking at here so the highest high is that red candle there Sorry, I forget what I've done in the past so quickly because I'm, you know, you're studying thousands of charts and stuff. So that's the highest high. That's the penultimate low. This is the low that needed a close through. There's the close through while I was in the land of nod. There's the pullback that we always expect to happen, remember? And then there's the continuation. So this was where I was looking to get a short trade. Next stop um, was um, the. Uh, I need to put a vertical on there don't I sorry it, I took my trade prior to the L London Open because really I didn't want to get involved in uh, the big boys games uh, loading up the price and one thing or another during the London Open so um, that's 6 a.m. drop to the hourly and get uh, a better idea of where we are oops always forget to highlight those 6 a.m. That's it. That will just move. That's a um, indicator on there. 6 a.m. here. You can clearly see um, at this point uh, the um, RSI histo. There's no way I wanted to go long. I'll drag the trade onto the chart. If I can find it, because I've taken so many trades today again. Uh, what time? Seven 
7.25, There's the trade there. Looks a bit silly on that chart, but but it's uh, what I need to make my days at income. So, um, yeah. So uh, H1, uh, we'd closed with a bar down bar. I don't think it had done the bust and break at that stage. There's the bust, and I want to see a break and close. Um, notice that the H4 was turning red. That's good. Doesn't need to be red necessarily. If it's closed red, the previous bar, that's good. But always watch for a pullback. M30. This, by the way, was uh, um, weak pound, strong uh, dollar as well. Zoom out a bit now. M30 had uh, was closing. Had broken through the low there, um, and uh, had broke. Sorry, broken through the low of that bar and uh, hadn't closed yet but the entry was good I've got another short over here as well but I won't go into that I was twittering so much I've got a late entry oh the other thing to mention is we had H4 highs below us which were target there was another one that uh, was my target there and then um, if you go to my Twitter feed you'll see images of, of the actual trade right down to the one minute both trades in fact so guys this was an absolute gimme during the night before I woke up, H4 confirmation down, perfect, perfect reversal. All this resistance uh, below us broken as well. Uh, next resistance tested, as I just mentioned, which I can't believe it was to the micro pip. Um, and uh, as you can see now, price is also coming down as a result of potentially that resistance being broken. So next stop, somewhere down here, the obvious place. But you can't trade what I talk about. I'm not qualified to call trades. But the obvious place for me would be this flip area. Not sure why that didn't drag onto the chart. Always go for the, the most uh, careful area. This has been tested. That's a resistance level below you as well. High of a candle. By the looks of it, it has been tested and failed to um, break. So potentially, you know, that would worry me. So a retest of that, then a continuation down to what is a vague level. Um, but uh, you can find the internals of that vague level, that flip zone, by looking at the H1. That's the whole point of using candlestick highs through every time frame. I'm not going to overcomplicate the video now by talking about all that. But uh, just, um, if you like the video, you know, uh, give me some um, comments guys what you'd like to see more of what you'd like to see less of um, and um, and uh, subscribe if you've not already done so thanks for watching have a great day